Um, <clears throat> so hello and welcome. My name is Rhonda and this is our Secret Agent Travel Tuesday night webinar. Uh, it is uh, 7 p.m. here in the Central Time Zone and my daughter typically goes to bed at 8 p.m. and my husband's at work tonight. So she is having her dinner here right next to us. She's going to go to bed a little bit later than normal tonight. I think she'll behave. She's usually really good. Um, but if uh, you hear her crying, that's what's going on. There's a dog back behind me too. So that could be an interruption. Hopefully we'll get through this. Um, that's life, right? Okay. So the reason we are here is to talk about uh, our secret agent travel uh, affiliate, uh, Playa Resorts. And Playa Resorts have their Stay Safe Pledge. And we're going to talk a little bit about what that is. And we're also going to talk about some of their resorts. Um, so here is my information. I am Rhonda Stittman. I'm the owner of Secret Agent Travel. Uh, my phone number and my information is here and I'm going to leave this up on the screen for a minute um, because I want to try and find, um, I want you guys to see my video. I want you to see me. Um, actually, that really doesn't matter that much um, <laughs> now that I think about it. So let's go ahead and continue. Um, tonight's agenda, as I said, we're going to talk all about Playa Resorts who they are, what their brands are, where the resorts are located, why you should choose a Playa Resort. Um, we're going to talk about what Playa Resorts are doing to keep their guests and staff safer uh, in this time of, of uncertainty. And we're going to go over a very, very brief overview of the properties that Playa has under their umbrella. Um, and some of them will go a little bit further in depth than others, but it's a very, very general overview. Um, and I can do an individual webinar on any one property um, if anybody would like. So um, if you have any questions or if there are any properties you want to see um, as we're going through, be sure and comment. So, uh, so that I can know that you want, want me to take a look at that property. Okay. So who is Playa? Um, as you can see, I was a little distracted because I was trying to get my phone connected so I can see what's going on, um, both on Facebook as well as, as I'm doing this webinar, I wanted to be able to see you all. So, um, who is Playa? Playa um, is going to be names that you recognize. You may not know what Playa Resorts are, but you've heard of Hilton. Um, you may have even heard of Hyatt. They have the Zalara and Ziva properties. So Playa Resorts has contracted with the Hilton brand to handle their all-inclusive properties, as well as the Hyatt, Ziva, and Zalara, so that you can... Uh, so anyway, names that you will recognize. Then we have the Panama Jack Resorts and the Sanctuary Resorts and the Jewel Resorts. And we'll talk a little bit more about those resorts and where they're located here in just one moment. So, uh, hey, how about we do that right now? <laughs> so the Flyer Resorts are located in Mexico, Jamaica, and the Dominican Republic. Um, both the Hilton and the Hyatt have a presence in all three countries. Um, and we'll talk about that as we go through. Uh, Panama Jack Resorts are just in Mexico. There's one in Cancun and one in Playa del Carmen. Uh, the Jewel Resorts, there's four of those and they are all in Jamaica. And then in the Dominican Republic, we also have Sanctuary and this is an adults only resort that we will talk about. So why would you choose a Playa Resort? Uh, you might choose a Playa Resort because of their amazing locations. 
Um, you may choose Apply a Resort because of their heartfelt service. And this is going to come up with almost every property we talk about. Um, but anytime you think of Apply Resorts, I want you to think about their heartfelt service. They're going to actually put their hands on their hearts um, to, to show you that respect and that appreciation. Um, inspired Dining, you'll find that they have amazing accommodations, uh, world-class spas, and then depending upon whether you're in Mexico or Jamaica, you can have rum or tequila sommeliers and they do tastings for you to help you figure out um, in Jamaica what's your favorite rum or what, what tequila is best for you. So everybody wants to know what these resorts are doing to help keep their guests safe. So when it comes to the Playa Safe Stay Promise, Let's hear directly from them and see what they have to say. Hello, I'm Bruce Wardinsky, Chairman and CEO of Playa Hotels and Resorts. On behalf of the more than 10,000 Playa Associates across Mexico and throughout the Caribbean, I thank you we're considering a stay at one of our beautiful ocean. It may resorts. not be a name you recognize, Why? but our brands, whether Hyatt Zevens Alara, Hilton All Inclusive, Panama Jack, Jewel or Sanctuary, are names you know, names you trust, names synonymous with all inclusive experiences that are second to none. The COVID 19 pandemic put vacations on hold during a time when they were needed most. As we resume life as normal, we invite you back to our award-winning, all-inclusive resorts. We invite you to escape the rigors of daily life and enter our world of authentic luxury experiences, safely redesigned for fun and relaxation. In the following video, you see firsthand that our resorts look a bit different now, but I promise they feel exactly the same. And while this is just a glimpse of what to expect, you can find much more detailed information regarding our commitment to your peace of mind at PlyaResorts.com. Today, more than ever, a room at a Playa Resort is a personal sanctuary, a place to relax and refresh worry-free in comfort and safety. You can trust that Hyatt, Hilton, and Playa, in consultation with other leaders in health and hospitality services, caring for you and your family. We've been hard at work to prepare for your arrival. At the start of every shift, all employees go through a thorough screening and cleaning, including temperature checks, disinfectants, and masks for the safety of both our crew and you. Your room and its furnishings, fixtures, systems, and decor have been prepared for you using proven sterilization protocols and techniques. Contact points like doorknobs, drawer pulls, and handles, as well as electronic items such as telephones, remotes, and touchscreens receive extra attention for sanitizing. We've also provided a PPE safety kit with additional kits available on request. And once we're done, a safety seal is added across the door as your assurance of a properly deep cleaned room. All transportation, both from the airport and within the resort itself, is thoroughly cleaned and sanitized throughout the day, especially after each guest trip. When you arrive at a Playa Resort, before your luggage comes inside, any contamination that handling along the way might have deposited on exterior surfaces will be removed with a disinfectant and taken directly to your room. The familiar warm Playa welcome and our concern for your well-being is enhanced by frequent cleaning of the lobby. Every 90 minutes, high touch points like elevator doors and buttons are deep cleaned. Numerous hand sanitizing stations throughout the property are available for both our guests and our staff. All around Playa Resorts, you'll now see QR codes that will give you quick, contact-free access to helpful information to make the most of your stay. Access the hotel directory. Start planning your stay with the special events listing. Use your smart device to make reservations for a cabana or download the menu for drinks and snacks. At the gym, the QR codes will allow you to make reservations for equipment and register for group classes. 
Meanwhile, as you're settling in, the Playa Food and Beverage team are preparing for comfortable, enjoyable meal experiences throughout your stay. Takeout services available with disposable containers and utensils. In-room dining is enhanced with digital menus you can access with your smart device and with a safety seal on every order for your assurance of cleanliness in preparation. In our restaurants, call-ahead seating at a la carte venues limit crowds and queues. Tables are spaced for proper social distancing. Convenient QR codes will bring digital menus directly to your smart device, reducing the number of contact points with distributed materials. Buffet dining has been reimagined with your plate custom prepared to your satisfaction behind a clear protective screen. At our bars and lounges, surfaces are cleaned and sanitized after each guest or at least twice an hour so your happy hour can be joyous and your nightcap is carefree. Then, as you awaken refreshed and get ready to take on another day of delights, the dedicated staffs at our gym, spa, kids club, water park, pools, and beachside recreation facilities are preparing those areas with proper distancing and a total disinfecting protocol, one that will be frequently repeated throughout the day with some equipment treated after each and every use. And all of this is to assure you, your family, and friends of the ultimate worry-free resort experience that expands the Playa tradition of excellence in hospitality. For more information about our safe stay promise and to receive updates, visit playaresorts.com backslash safe stay promise. Excellent. Um well, I hope that gives you a pretty good idea of what fire resorts are doing um, extra or additional to help keep everybody safe. Um, it really is important, uh, particularly now, that we think about these extra little steps as we begin to open the travel industry and as we begin to think about traveling again, we want to make sure that we're only working with travel partners that are taking your health and safety seriously. Okay. <clears throat> so Hilton, let's talk a little bit about them. Um, these are four and a half uh, plus star all inclusive resorts. Um, and again, you'll see that service from the heart with Hilton. Um, these are renovated resorts in desirable locations. And we'll talk about those individually as we come to them. There's plenty of entertainment, both during the day and at night. Um, in our Playa del Carmen location, in the Hilton location, that one is just steps away from the Fifth Avenue area. And when you get to Jamaica, there is a water park at the resort. So that's um, something to think about when you're looking at these Hilton resorts. Um, and then when you are in the Dominican Republic, we have the multi-generational resort. Okay, next we have Hilton Rose Hall, and this is an all-inclusive resort, a four-star all-inclusive. Um, it is the longest beach at an all-inclusive resort in Jamaica, and it has a water park for everyone old and young. Um, so let's take a quick look at actually the Hilton Rose Hall promotional video. there, um, go ahead and type Rose Hall down in the comments for me. 
Um, and I will be sure and reach out and let you know a little bit more about that resort and get you some more information. Next, we have the La Romana. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Rose Hall. Let me back up for one moment. Um, La, uh, Rose Hall is actually in uh, Jamaica. That is in Jamaica. All right. <clears throat> so La Romana, that is in Punta Cana. And La Romana also has a water park. Um, it's a four-star all-inclusive resort with a kids club, and it is fully divided into an uh, adult side and a uh, family-oriented side. So this is a great place to go if you want to have a family reunion um, because you can have the, the adults that want to have a little bit more of a refined or, or adult type vacation. And you can book them all on one side. We can book them all on one side of the resort. And then if there's a family or two with children, we'll get them on the family side. And uh, most of your activities, um, if the children are involved, will need to be happening on the family side, but you can do a lot on the adult side as well. Um, and with the kids club, you can drop the kids off and head on over to the adult side. Okay, so uh, Hilton Playa del Carmen. This was uh, formerly known as the Royal. This is an all adult resort in Playa del Carmen. Um, if this is something you might be interested in, we can talk a little bit more about this. Um, but like the other Hilton resorts, it is really close to the Fifth Avenue area here in Playa del Carmen. All right, um, so now let's look at the next group of resorts and that's the Hyatt Zalara and the Hyatt Viva. Um, I'm going to show you a video here uh, briefly. Um, in this video this uh, talks about both Hyatt, Hyatt Viva and Hyatt Zalara. Uh, Viva is the family friendly property and Zalara is adults only. Um, most of the properties. Well, let me let me see, let me back up. All of the Hyatt Zolara are next to a Ziva. There are two additional Ziva properties that are standalone, um, but you either have a, a Ziva Zolara or just a Ziva. Okay, so take let's take a look at this next video. All right. Excellent. Well, um, I didn't realize that the video was still playing during all of that. All right. So um, down here in the lower left hand corner, if you're watching this live, you can move my video down to the right hand corner. Um, it looks like uh, it's defaulting up there. Anyway, so that was Hyatt Ziva in Zalara. They are a five star luxury all inclusive resort. Um, they again have that service from the heart. Um, some amazing beach locations, and we'll talk about where those are located. Um, they have inspired dining and lounges, 24-7 room service, um, that daily and nightly entertainment. And But here we're going to see these beautiful spas, pools, and fitness centers. And most of them even include your fitness classes. So we have Cancun, and this is a, a Ziva Zalara property. We have two side-by-side. 
So Zalara, um, the opening room category has an ocean view. So you're not going to be looking at a garden or a parking lot. You will be seeing the ocean um, at the base room category at this property. The Ziva has uh, a microbrewery included, and it is included in the all-inclusive part of the resort. Um, an oceanfront taco bar, and right on the property, there is a dolphin sanctuary, and I'm so excited about this. I love dolphins. Um, on my trip to Hawaii in 2012, I swam with the dolphins. Um, when I went to Hawaii in 2016, we went and we took an opportunity to see the dolphins at the sanctuary at the hotel there. Um, yeah, yeah. You gotta see dolphins at some point in your life. Ready? Right? Right, Miss Lottie? Okay, let me give her another scoop of some food. <clears throat> and uh, the turquoise tower, and this is an adults only property at the, at the Ziva where you can have um, access to your own pool and your own whole room tower building. All right, so this is the Hyatt Ziva, and, and excuse me, Zolara in Cancun, and you can see this whole thing faces the ocean. There is not a room that does not somehow face the water here on this property. Um, and this is the Ziva. Um, and right up here, uh, gosh, I don't know if my, my mouse is showing um, on here. Hopefully it is. Uh, yeah, actually it is. Okay, so right here um, in this area, that is the adults only pool that goes with the Emerald Tower. Um, the Dolphin Sanctuary, you can't see it. It's right here behind this building. Um, and this is, is a, the, the stretch of beach in Cancun where we have the Ziva here. Right here, this this area here is your dolphin sanctuary. Um, so that's where you would be able to go and, and see dolphins yeah. right on the property. Okay, um, another picture of the Ziva there. Just some fun pictures of children and family and pools. Now, in Capcana, we find that there's a water park for guests. Um, and this is for both, or excuse me, the guests of both resorts. So, um, so you have access to the water park, whether you go to the Zalara or the Ziva. There's a lazy river, there's a splash park for the little ones. Um, again, we see that there's a state of the art fitness center. But the cool thing about this is the smallest room is 600 square feet. That's a huge room, that's a lot of space. Um, here is a picture, an aerial overview. Um, of the two resorts. And actually what we're looking at here is a uh, Ziva on the right and off to the left is the Zalara. Um, the picture I had uh, doesn't show you both. Um, this is the Lazy River and a water slide at the water park. And as you can see, it's just a great time to take your family. Now we have the Hyatt Zalara and Ziva in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Um, there's a welcome lounge right at the Montego Bay Airport just for Zalara and Ziva guests. And Zalara guests can actually check in right at the airport and then they take their transportation over and they're all set. Their bags show up in their room. It's very smooth and seamless and all connected. Um, guests of Ziva can absolutely use that lo lounge at the airports, but they do need to go to the, the hotel resort to check in. Um, guests of Zalara and guests of Ziva enjoy privileges at both resorts. Um, there is an amazing jerk restaurant um, called Bay Barefoot Jerk, and that's at Ziva. So you're going to want to make sure that you check it out. Um, there are more dining options uh, at, at the Ziva as compared to Zalara here. Um, so that's why if you're at Zalara, you're going to have privileges to both, and you're going to want to make sure you check them out. Um, okay, <clears throat> so... Over here on the left hand side is where we have the Ziva property um, and the, the jerk restaurants right down here on the beach. Um, over here is the Zalara part. Okay. Now, um, uh, Ziva Los Cabos. Uh, this town one has a kids club, an all adults section, and but it is not a swimming beach. So Los Cabos, um, if you know, that's over on the west side of Mexico. Um, I believe it's at the, the end of Baja, California, down there at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> so that would be one to check out if, 
uh, swimming at the beach is not something that you're interested in. You can walk all up and down, you can play on it, um, but it's not some place you can swim. Then we have the Hyatt Ziva in Puerto Vallarta. Um, all of the rooms here face west, so there are amazing sunset views. Um, and if you like to sleep in in the morning, that also means that the sun is not going to be coming in the curtains. Okay, so um, I don't know about you, but I judge virtually every room I stay in by how well does that little gap between the curtains close. Okay, how much light comes in when I'm trying to sleep at night or in the morning. Um, so if all of the rooms face west, well, even if there is a gap, you're not going to get sun in the early morning. And so this is something that's really exciting for me. Um, it does have an adult only pool. So take a look at this resort. Um, this is uh, the, the Ziva in Puerto Vallarta. All right, so Panama Jack Resorts. Um, these are located just in Mexico. There's one in Cancun and one in Playa del Carmen. They are four and a half star all-inclusive resorts with that service from the heart. They're, they've been renovated and they're great for all ages. We have Camp Jack for the little ones and Hashtag for those teenagers. Um, it's located in excellent places. Uh, we are just close to the Fifth Avenue uh, in Playa del Carmen like we had before. And in Cancun, it's on an amazing stretch of, of beach in the resort area. All right, so let's take a look at this video here, uh, what we have to say about Panama Jack. And I'll remember you continue this. <laughs> dealt with an inpatient baby. If you have ever dealt with an inpatient baby, comment below and say inpatient. Um, all right, so here is a picture of the Panama Jack in Cancun, um, and here is the Playa del Carmen. Um, this is an excellent family resort, and this one does tend to price out relatively well. So if you're on a tight budget or you're looking for a value resort that is still going to be a, a high quality place to go, um, this is going to be your option. So um, reach out to me and let me know if that's you. All right, so the jewel resorts, I'm not going to go into these in too far of depth. Um, there are two of them that are family friendly and two that are all adults. The two family friendly resorts are the Jewel Grand Bay and the Jewel Runaway Bay excuse me, Jewel Grand in Montego Bay and the Jewel Runaway Bay. Um, and then we have the Jewel Paradise Cove, which is an adult only resort. And we also have uh, the Jewel Dunn River, um, which used to be a, a sandals property. So if you're familiar with that, um, that's now the Jewel and uh, that is in Jamaica. Um, so these are all, um, well, the, the Jewel Grand is right in Montego Bay. Runaway Bay is uh, pretty close. 
Um, and then they just keep getting a little bit further away from the airport. So we'll arrange transportation for you. Um, but just keep in mind that Jewel Duns River is pretty far from the airport. I think it's a little over an hour, close to an hour and a half um, that you're going to be on that bus so or in that car. Uh, I really recommend private transportation if you're going to go out there. Um, so let's take a look at a video about the Jewel brand. Um, <clears throat> Okay, Carl, I need you to just stick in there a little longer, okay? Looks like this one doesn't have any sound. Yeah, you want some more? Okay. So I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, it, it doesn't show me. Okay, anyway. Um, so that was the Grand in Jamaica. Um, here's a couple pictures of the Grand. And this is Runaway Bay. This is the water park at that particular resort. Um, this is Jewel Duns River. This is that all uh, adults resort um, and then Paradise Cove. So if any of those are properties that you would be interested in, be sure and let me know. Um, the ones that we focus on as family travel specialists, obviously, uh, are the Grand and Runaway Bay. Um, so if you're looking to go to Jamaica, there's that. And I have a couple other properties with a different, um, well, one, actually one other uh, option in Jamaica that I work with for families. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll talk about the uh, clandestine operation location that we go to in Jamaica another time. All right, so um, next we're going to talk about Sanctuary Resort. This is the all-inclusive adult resort in Capcana that is the Dominican Republic. Um, it is adults only. It has a boutique feel. It's a very small, it's a very small hotel. Um, so you feel very, um, it, it just has that boutique-y feel to it. And you can sleep in a castle. So I think I have a picture here I can show you. Um, uh, let's play the video and if there isn't, I'll, I, I might have a picture. Now. Okay, so um, that was the sanctuary. And right here, this is the castle you can stay in. And this backside is, that's just the hallway. There are windows all along the back, which is the ocean side. Um, so this is Sanctuary Capcana, um, an adults only resort. Um, and here you go. Uh, let's see, there's the, the resort from the other side. There you go. Um, okay, so uh, I don't know if there's even anybody watching live. It doesn't look uh, like it. Is there any questions that anybody had uh, while we're on the the line today? Still, so I'm gonna look and see what what uh, I can see on Facebook. Hi, Rebecca. Are you still there?
Okay. Um, well, if there isn't any any questions popping up here, um, <clears throat> thank you so much for stopping in and uh, checking out our presentation tonight with our Tuesday night travel webinar. I am Rhonda Sittman. I am the owner and agent of Secret Agent Travel. Um, this is my information and how you contact me. Um, if any of these properties we talked about seems interesting to you tonight, uh, be sure and either go to my calendar link um, that is right here, calendly.com forward slash secret agent travel forward slash IC. Um, or you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash secret agent travel uh, to get more information and to join our VIP group. Uh, well, I suppose you're probably in our VIP group, aren't you? Um, uh, so anyway, go to our Calendly link to schedule a time to talk to me about your next vacation. Um, that can be either one of the resorts we've talked about or something going on. Um, now, uh, stick around. I'm going to be posting some information about an upcoming group that we have. Um, so I want to put together a group for spring break. Um, and then we're going to do a schools out spectacular. And then we're going to start getting into regular operations starting in fall of 2021. Um, what are operations, you ask? All right. Well, I'm really glad that you asked, uh, but we're going to save that for another time. Um, thank you for stopping in. Have a great night and be well. Mm -hmm.